Yes, once again, today we are going to look at a couple more hex components. This time we will look at one front-end component and one back-end component that actually has a front-end component too. So that's a two for one. We'll start in a couple of seconds. First one for today is this one from Selvat 7 and it's called Modern Circular Gouge. This front-end component is currently not available as a standard hex component, so we will need to manually add the repository. And by the way, if you do end up installing the component and using it, don't forget to say thanks to the author by clicking the star on the repository. So what does it do? It creates a modern circle gouge, so you can use it in your own UI for whatever purposes you need, if you want to have something presented in that way. It can be temperature, percentages, anything that you want to visually display with this modern circle gouge. Let's start by adding it to the hex. First we will need to copy the URL, this one here, copy it, and we will need to add it to hex. Inside hex, click on three dots, custom repositories, paste the URL that I just copied, select type dashboard and click on add. It has been added. We can now close this and search for modern, click on the link and we need to download it. At the time of the recording, the latest version is version 0.4.0. .0. Download, reload and this should be it. Now you can add it to your UI. Let's go to overview, hacks, edit, let's add new card, modern circular couch and you can here configure it. The configuration is done through the UI, so you don't need to mess up with the YAML code. But also, if you want, you can mess with the YAML code. Everything is available in documentation, so you can browse what you want to add, or configure, or customize, and then customize it here. But we will not be doing that, we will be using UI to configure it. First off, you need to configure entity. For example, let's select this one here. This card shows you how much heat is this valve requesting from the heating, from my gas boiler. For example, in this case, this is 3%. We can give it a specific name if we want to customize the name. Unit can be changed or left alone. Degree centigrade. Minimum value can be specified here. In this case, it's zero. And the maximum value also 100 for 100%. Or if you know that it never goes above 50, you can, for example, set it to 50%. Depending on the percentage, you will also see the difference in the bar or in the graph here. If you want, you can add secondary entity and also change the unit. For example, this is home assistant climate and the unit is once again degree centigrade. Header can be on the top, which is the default value, or at the bottom. You can also add needle and you can also play with the segment. That way, when the temperature is requested from the heating element or gas boiler in my case, if it's above 60%, it will be red. If it's from 40 to 60%, it will be green. And from zero to 40%, it will be blue. Click on save and now we have new nice modern circular gouge. I've also added one additional sensor and this one is humidity. Outside humidity is currently at 54%. And for the next or the last component we are going to install, actually not last because this one has two parts, we are going to install this one from the Ghost Blizzard. It's called Home Assistant Switch Timer. What this integration, hex integration does, it adds to every switch you have, timer. So any switch that already exists in Home Assistant, there will be additional entity created called Switch Timer. That way, for each of the switches, you can also add timer, which is a very neat functionality. So let's get started with this one. Once again, we will need to copy the repository URL. Let's click in the navigation bar, press Ctrl C on the PC to copy it. And then in Home Assistant, Hex, three dots, custom repositories, Paste the repository, select type integration and click on add. Since this is not a front-end component, after we add it and install it, we will need to restart Home Assistant. Let's close this one, search for timer, select switch timer, click on download and just click on download. That should be it. We still need to restart Home Assistant, but before we do that, let's also install the front-end component. So what is the front-end component? This is this set timer pop-up card. For example, you can set on any switch pop-up hold action where it pop-ups this timer out. In order for this component to work, you need to already have browser mode installed. In my case, this component is already installed, but we will double check before we install this one here. Copy the URL, in the hex, click on three dots, custom repositories, paste the URL, select dashboard and click on add. It's been added, click on X to close it, 
click on Set Timer pop-up card, Download, and Download. Since this is a front-end component, we can just press Reload, but we still need to restart our Home Assistant. While Home Assistant is restarting, let's look a bit at the documentation. As I said, this one will create a timer for every switch. So if, for example, you have switch kitchen light, it will create new entity called switch underscore timer dot kitchen light. And it will add some additional attributes. One is called duration and the other one is called action. Action will tell the system what to do after the duration of the timer times out. Should it, for example, turn it on or turn it off. Then we will also have new actions or previously called service calls. For example, first one is set timer. This will allow you to set timer for each of the switches that you created. Then we have option to cancel timer, so you can cancel any timer that is still active. But before we go back to Home Assistant, if you do end up installing and liking this component, don't forget to give this repository star to say thanks to the author for creating such an amazing component. And also before we go back to Hex, there is currently one issue with this integration. It is still not keeping the state of the timers between the restarts. So for example, if you have timer active that needs to turn off the switch in, for example, two hours, and you restart your home assistant, it will forget that settings. In the next release of this component, this should be fixed, but currently this is an issue. So if you are frequently restarting home assistant, at this point, this integration may not be the one for you. Settings, integrations, add integration, Switch Timer, which is a custom component, click on it, and this should be it. This component will scan your system from time to time to see if there are any new switches. If it finds new switch, it will also create switch underscore timer. So let's check in developer tools, states, switch underscore timer. And as you can see, for all of the switches in my system, I now also have switch underscore timer. Let's go back to actions, switch timer set timer let's select an entity for example this one here power socket switch i want to turn it on in for example zero hours one minute and 10 seconds perform action and the timer will now start to tick in 70 seconds this is what i've set here in the timer it will turn this switch on as i said we also have option to cancel timer cancel kitchen you just need to specify the action, which is switch timer, cancel timer, select entity, and then perform action. The timer has now been canceled. We also can add it to the UI, so you can easily set each and every switch if you want through the UI. But for this, you need to have browser mode available. Browser mode can be used for many other things. In this case, this one is used to create a pop-up. And in order for you to get the browser pop-up for the timer, you need to create a service call inside whatever action. This can be either tap action or hold action, and you can do that, for example, on tiles card. But for this video, I've created a service call here in the actions. Actions, action is browser mode pop-up. I've given it a title, test, and the content is what we want to display. This is a type, card type, custom set timer pop-up, and the entity is switch underscore timer dot decorative lights. If I click on perform action, this can, for example, be tap or hold, as I've said previously, it will pop up a screen where we can select timers. For example, in three minutes, we want to turn it off. Set timer, and that's it. And that way you can incorporate it in whatever, for example, tablets or displays you have on your walls. And this is it for this brief Home Assistant Community Store video. I really do hope that you did enjoy it. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really, really means a lot to me. But also it helps with the YouTube channel. If you have any kind of a comment or a question in regard to this video or previous videos, you can always post them down in a comment section below. And before I wrap up the video, as always, I want to say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, shared, liked, commented, because it really, really means a lot to me. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, as always, you can send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I will be seeing you next time. Until then, Bye-bye and have fun!